Hey everyone, it's 5-5. Five five. And this is Lady Taurus. And today is our third edition of Movie Review Wednesday. And we saw... Snow White and the Huntsman. So it was two hours and seven minutes and it was PG-13. And the stars are Kristen Stewart, Charlize Theron, and Chris Hemsworth. And Kristen Stewart, you know her from Bella, as Bella from Twilight. Charlize Theron, um, Hancock's superhero wife. Um, and Chris Hemsworth, better known as Thor from the Avenger movies. The sexy yeah. one. <laughs> um, let's see. It's a drama, action, adventure, romance, sci-fi, fantasy. Just, genre. Just all of that. All of that. <laughs> Everything put together. So, a quick movie synopsis is, in the epic action adventure, Snow White and the Huntsman, Christian Stewart plays the only person in the land fairer than the evil queen, Charlize Theron, out to destroy her. But, what the wicked ruler never imagined is that the young woman threatening her reign has been training in the arts of war with a huntsman, Chris Hemsworth, I'm back, dispatched to kill her. Sam Claffin, I really didn't know who he was, <laughs> joins the cast as the prince, long enchanted by Snow White's beauty and power. So, let's get into this. Okay, so, so the trailer for the movie was phenomenal. Um, it really depicted it as an action, you know, adventure movie. They really didn't show much about, like, it being a romance movie or anything like mm -hmm. that. Um, I guess that could be implied because of Snow White. Right, I guess so. So, you know, I mean, that's really what drew people in, because the theater was packed. Right. And we're all expecting a really great movie. Um, breaking the movie down, Charlize Theron, um, the evil queen, and Chris Hemsworth, they both did a phenomenal job. Like, Charlize Theron, I still believe, is the best incarnation of the evil queen to date in any Snow White movie that I've seen. Like, she was really good. And Chris Hemsworth, that's the huntsman. Right. I mean, they should have just put him in there. They didn't, he didn't even have to say anything. <laughs> <laughs> just eye candy. Yeah, but he was really good as well. Um, Kristen Stewart, I mean, she's supposed to be... She's Snow White. She's supposed to be the main character or whatever. And to me, she she really sunk the movie. I think physically looking at her, yes, she could be a Snow White. But the acting was just so... Personally, her acting was not up to par with Charlize Theron's and Chris Hemsworth acting. Mm -hmm. Like, I felt... I mean, to me, this movie should have been renamed The Evil Queen and the Huntsman. Because <laughs> Snow White, they could, they could have taken her out. And the movie would have just kept moving along without her, to me. Like, she was not significant in the movie. And I don't want to place all the blame on her, because... I, they didn't I wanna, give her much to say. I want to know who else went out to act as Snow White. <laughs> That's what I want to know. And how did she win that part? Like, who else was trying that out that she was the best Snow White? Like we said <laughs> prior to the 20 times making this video, yeah. she brought Bella into the acting. Mm -hmm. Like, she brought Bella into Snow White. That's from the Twilight series. Um, yeah. Not really a spoiler alert, but she had this kiss, and it was so awkward. It was like... Yeah, it was, it was terrible. It's she like, brought you that, know... Prince Charming's kiss and Snow White's kiss or whatever, like, it's that's true love's first kiss, and it was just like... Where's the passion behind it? It was like this awkward 13-year-old girl giving her first kiss. I mean, yeah. I don't suggest 13-year-olds giving kisses. I'm just saying <laughs> that it was this awkward kiss, like, nobody kisses that you know in real life. Like, who kisses like that? It was so bad. It, it really was bad. And, like I said, I don't want to place all the blame on her, because her acting to me was terrible. Like, there is no excuse for that. But, I mean, the script as well, like, she was supposed to have this speech to, like, rile up the troops and everything. And the first line didn't even make sense. And I know it wasn't just me, because the random person I was sitting next to, I mean, they were like, what? Like, what is she? Iron heats up and... It was so bad. Burns in you. Like, and for two hours and seven minutes, yeah. for me, I felt like everything was drawn out. Like, mm -hmm. some stuff could have been cut out or voiced over or just cut to the next scene. I felt like they were just showing everything. It's like, yeah. I don't need to see all that. You could have took an hour away and made it a better movie. I really didn't have a favorite scene. Maybe that monster scene when she, like, screamed back at him. I, I don't know. I think my favorite scene had to be at the end with the evil queen. I mean, um, this is when... 
yeah, she's really getting into it right now. Like, you know, like she's about to kill Snow White. But before then, she's like standing literally in fire and she's burning up or whatever. But like, you know, she has magic. The special effects, it, it really They're was really just, good. Yeah, mm-hmm. it was really good or whatever. And, you know, Charlize Theron, she just, yeah, she just took it there. Like, I felt like she owned the movie. But, yeah, that was that was my favorite scene. I really think so. But so what what's our rating? rating? I feel like I'm being mean if I say a C, but the I'm special <laughs> the special effects and like she saved it like mm-hmm. I don't know. It was just I was expecting so much more from the trailer and I feel yeah. like I didn't get anything that I expected. So I mean some things were just unrealistic. I mean Snow White in this has been stuck in the tower for like more than half her life and all of a sudden she's riding out to battle with like how does she even know how to ride on a horse? We're not going to talk about that. How did she know how to wield a sword and shield when she had, like, two hours to train? <laughs> no. She, she would have got killed. Like, let's be realistic here. She couldn't have made it. Like, she just couldn't have made it. Like, it wasn't realistic. So what's your rating? I say if there's nothing else on TV and you just have that, you know, rainy day and out of the 200 channels, there's nothing to watch. Don't go to the movies for this. Keep your money. And you're just like, oh, Snow White and the Husband's out. You have nothing to do for two hours. Watch it. Just for Charlize Theron and Chris Hemsworth. But don't expect anything out of Kristen Stewart. I mean, as long as you know you're not getting anything out of her. You shouldn't be disappointed. Mm-hmm. So, sorry about the long review, but that's how bad it was. So, yeah. so for Kristen Stewart, personally. Uh... Sorry. Charlize Theron, Chris Hemsworth. (laughs) (laughs) All right, you guys. Thanks for watching. All right. Thank you, guys.